Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Stardust Accelerator. In the last part, we do all the uh, shopkeepers up here. Um, and between this part and the last part, I did some catch-up on duels. I dueled some of the uh, story mode duelists that we passed and talked about, but haven't dueled because we've already dueled them once. Uh, I dueled the shopkeepers three more times, or two more times, so that I get, I've get i got uh, three times victories against them. I also have vic three times victories against those other story mode duelists in the uh, the warehouse place over to the west of where we were. And I also defeated the tournament five times total, which has unlocked us a new pack. A new pack full to the brim with Synchro Monsters. So I'm going to be buying a lot of those. Also, if you take a look at my uh, at my money, I spent a lot of money in the last uh, in the la over the over the uh, over the break in video uh, uh, since last week, Mo mainly on packs and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, Worm, Wrath of Neo, so is a Neo the Neo, uh, E Hero card, uh, Blizzard Warrior. Never heard of this card. Worm, Flamvel. Flamvel is an interesting, interesting uh, archetype. I don't know much about it to be honest. Uh, X Saber, I believe. X Saber monster. Uh, detonating. Destroy all face-up Karibos and Karibo tokens. You can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of Karibos and Karibo tokens destroyed by this effect. Flamvel again. Huh. Uh, another Flamvel Magical, Blizzard Warrior again, uh, Practitioner of the Ice Barrier, so Ice Barrier, interesting. And the Soul Exchange, I'm, I'm really surprised I haven't got this before. Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I kind of expected more Synchro Monsters, but I did get, uh, Crimson Crisis has a few more Synchro Monsters, and I did in fact pick up several of those, so, uh, those can go in into uh, synchro mon sy synchro uh, decks. So I got um, what did I get? I got uh, I don't remember what I got actually. And to be honest, I don't care. So in a, in other words, I got some cards. Got some cards. So we're going to be going to the south right now because we have more shopkeepers to duel. Ooh. Apparently there are only three maps there. Three map areas, I forgot about that. Yeah, we've got some more shopkeepers to duel. Specifically, the shopkeepers of the bike parts shop. But before we before we duel, uh, we are going to buy some parts. Mainly because... Um, oop, mainly because if we, we, we uh, can unlock a duelist, uh, a world championship duelist, to... Uh, <coughs> we can unlock a... Uh, a world champ a few world championship duelists by buying all of the parts of uh, various type. So uh, uh, the OP parts specifically. So so buy all the front parts. This is expensive. I can't. I actually. Can only just survive. That uh, survive. I can only just afford this. I'll take it. So, if, w seeing as we bought all of the front parts, we've just unlocked a new. Uh, <clears throat> we've just unlocked a new. Um, a new world championship duelist. So let's uh, let's check that out. Who have we unlocked? I wonder. I don't actually know, to be honest. Uh, let's go to the. Um, World Championship mode. Gonna have to start grinding for money again soon. I don't want to do that. It's gonna take forever. Uh, World Championship. We unlocked a new duelist, which is who is it? It is. Let's see. It is Colossal Fighter. Interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, fair enough. So back to the story mode because we are also going to duel these guys. Because they duel. So we're going to duel Globe here. It's an interesting uh, name. Oh, by the way, if you hadn't picked up on it, I, I have a cold again. I'm sorry about that. I can't do much about it. 
it, it's not it's not not nearly as bad as it was uh, last time. So I probably would I probably I probably will still be able to keep making videos, but yeah, it's gonna mess my speech up a little bit. If you haven't picked up on it, then fair enough. But you know, ah, this guy's got an Allies of Justice deck, and that's a DNA transplant. Doesn't matter. All of my cards are light attribute anyway. What's this guy? This card can attack each face-up light monster your opponent controls once. If it battles a monster of any attribute other than light, this card is destroyed before damage calculation. Well, that doesn't matter, because, uh... I'm destroy it anyway, because Raiko is... God damn it. Let me just, uh, turn that one off. Why do, why do I have... Why do I still have that keep popping up? I don't know why that is. Oh, well. So... <coughs> I will end my turn... Um, yeah, uh, money grinding is go probably going to come from uh, fighting the tournament repeatedly, I imagine. <laughs> Raiko! I will destroy a card. I will destroy your monster. Because uh, the trap card does nothing to me because all of my monsters are light attribute anyway. Are you going to summon a monster? You are. Cyclone creator. Uh, oop, sorry about that. Uh, once per turn, you can return spell and trap cards from the field to an owner's to its owner's hand, equal to the number of face-up tuners on the field. So in this case, one. So you're going to return my trap back to my hand. That doesn't matter. Draw. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see. I, I had a Garoth. I could have brought out Garoth, unfortunately. Maybe. Uh, when this card is removed from the field, so it, no, it wouldn't have stayed anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll throw down Glorious Illusion. I'll summon Lila. Lights one Sorceress. I will not activate a special ability because, again, the, uh, spe the DNA transplant does nothing to me. So it doesn't matter. And I will attack your Tuna Monster. I don't want it on the field. <coughs> yep, there goes your Ally of Justice uh, Cyclone Creator. I'll end my turn there. Lila's special ability discards more cards. That was two soul... Two, uh... What's it called? Soul, soul recharge or whatever. Solar recharge. That's what it's called. Not soul recharge. I'm thinking of soul charge. Which is a card that allows you to pay life points to... Uh, to revive monsters from the graveyard. Which is really powerful. Anyway. <clears throat> so... I will do this, I think. I will activate, I will tribute my Lila to summon Celestia Lights One Angel in attack mode. Celestia's special ability allows me to discard four cards in order to destroy two cards on your side of the field. The trap doesn't matter, but that monster is gone now. So, uh, oh hey, a wolf. Nice. Right. Wolf got summoned. Is there another one? No, okay. In that case, I'll activate Glorious Illusion, which allows me to bring a monster back from the graveyard. Do I care about Dragoneth? Not really. I'll pull back Garoth for more draw. And then I'll uh, special summon Judgment Dragon and uh, beat your face in. Because, uh, you know, we, we can just do that, because Judgment Dragon is just that broken as all hell. <clears throat> so, yeah. That was a very quick duel. It's already over. There's not much point in me uh, hanging around right now, to be honest. It's very easy indeed. I mean, it, it could have been worse, obviously, but, you know. It's probably about as as uh, about as about easy a duel as, as uh, Light Swan can get. You just, like, flood the board with ridiculous monsters. Main reason why I kind of want to move away from Light Sworn soon to presumably an Elemental Hero deck at some point once I've finally gotten uh, the cards that I need for a proper Elemental Hero big city deck. I'm waiting for Elemental Hero Stratos basically. So, oh, I get a card. Hurrah. What am I getting? I'm getting. Ooh! Wow, that's a, 
Ally of Justice Field Marshal. Interesting. Okay, well, in that case, we are going to duel this guy now. Probably shouldn't, but hey, whatever, go for it. We're going to duel... Who are you? You are... <clears throat> you are... Lagoon Nola. What? Alright, fine. It's weird. Well, you, you've got a, a strange name. I guess it's not that strange compared to some names that we've seen in this game already, but whatever. Okay, so we've got two Lylas, second coin toss, and light barrier. Oh god, well that's, uh, that's lovely. Lovely, lovely. And Arcana Force 6, the lovers. Light barrier. Uh, huh. Well, I, I, I'm, I don't like this. Draw. This is turning out to be fairly dangerous, I think. So this is clearly an Arcana Force deck, and uh, Light Barrier makes Arcana Force very strong indeed. <clears throat> so Light Barrier's special ability is uh, every turn you toss a coin, if the result. In, uh, in the Every turn you toss a coin, if it's heads, then it's active, and then its abilities activate. If tails, then it's not. And its ability is, when you summon an Arcana Force monster, you can choose which effect it, you, you, to apply without uh, tossing a coin, and you drain uh, life points equal to damage from Arcana, Arcana Force damage. That's quite a powerful ability. So in this case. Uh, the lover's special ability clearly is uh, <coughs> has been chosen as heads, so they can act as two tributes for a uh, for an Arcana Force summon. He also has second coin toss, which pro is probably going to keep Light Barrier special ability active, and Lucky Chance, which uh, <coughs> which allows him to draw more apparently. Well, I'm not letting this stand. I summon Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress. And that's a torrential tribute. That's uh, both of our monsters gone. Okay, fine, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I'll throw this down and end my turn. <coughs> Sorry about that. My cold is acting up again. So, Light Barrier. Flip that card. Flip that coin. Get a tails. That's a tails, I think. Second coin toss allows him to flip again. He's also got tails, so light barrier special ability is negated. Not that it helps much, but whatever. Okay. I will then draw. Beckoning light is not very useful right now. I will summon Garoth in attack mode. Then I will activate Glorious Illusion, allowing me to bring back Lila. <coughs> and then I will activate Lila's special ability, allowing me to destroy the light barrier. Your field spell is now gone. Goodbye. It's the thing that keeps your monsters active and alive. Without it, they have a chance of being very unlike unlucky indeed. That is reflected damage of 50. Wow. I didn't expect to be reflected damage on. Oh well, whatever. More cards discarded. Garoth special ability discards. Garoth illusion discards. Damn it. I didn't get any draw from that. Garoth isn't very good. No. Garoth is pretty good, but isn't good enough, really. Da -da -da. Let's see. I have a Necro Gardener in my graveyard. I could block this att this attack. Do I need to? Not really, but I might as well. Might as well keep my Lilas on the field. Necro Gardener, block that attack. I really do need to hope that that Honest is the only monster that he is the is the only Honest. Actually, 
Honest is limited to one, I think, so uh, it has to be. And he's put it on the field, because he's a dumbass. Nice. I'll summon another Lila in attack mode. Uh, I can't switch Lila to attack mode right now. Which means that me saving her probably doesn't matter. Okay. So. Ly Lila will attack Honest. Get rid of him right now. Before he manages to pull, it back, pull him back to his hand. And then Garoth will attack this face down monster, which is Arcana Force the Chariot. Special ability is not active because he wasn't summoned face up. Okay, I'll end my turn. Lila's special ability discards cards, Garoth's special ability discards cards, and I draw a card. Lila's special ability also discards cards, Wolf is summoned, Garoth's special ability also discards cards, I draw more cards. And Wolf. Wolf is summoned. My Glorious Illusion also discards cards. My deck is very small right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, you've got Swords of Revealing Light. Well, that's. Uh, that might have been a problem if it weren't for the fact that I have a heavy storm. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, well, in that case. Uh, I will summon. Oh, wait a minute. I will heavy storm your entire board. Heavy storm! Glorious Illusion is destroyed and Lila with it. Doesn't matter because all of your fate, all of your uh, spells that were protecting you are now gone as well. And I will summon Garoth. And I will also activate the Gold Sarcophagus spell card, which. Uh, will allow me to pull... I don't have much left in my deck right now. Hang on. Um, Lila's special ability discards three. So three, two, and two. I have one turn. Uh, yeah, three, two, and two. If... If none of the cards I draw are Light Swarm monsters. In those last two, that is, if the, if none of the if none of the cards it, that I discard via Garoth's ability are Light Swarm monsters, then I have one more turn. If we pick up both, if if both of them have, yeah, if if the Light Swarm monster, I'll, I'll just send Celestia out. It's fine. It's all right. It doesn't matter because I need to bust your door down right now. Otherwise, I may end up with uh, no with no deck next turn. <clears throat> I was really lucky that I got rid of uh, Lila, to be honest. Actually, I might be able to take to finish this off right now. Okay, I did good. Okay, that that could have been dangerous if I hadn't had a little if if I'd had a little bit less attack. I could have actually lost by decking out right there. I should have checked lethal before worrying about it. Oh well. So yeah, we just dueled the uh, the dual the, the the dual runner parts clerks, and uh, yeah. So between now and tomorrow, I'll probably duel them as a few times over again. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>